says, why do some hadiths contradict? Some hadiths say that the ummah would be divided into 72 sects. The other one says the ummah would, divide it, would be divided to 73 uh, sects. First of all, do you believe that the hadiths are from Allah Azza wa Jal and they are a revelation? The answer is yes. This is crystal clear in the Quran where Allah says whatever the Prophet, the Messenger وسلم, brings to you, you have to accept and whatever he tells you not to do, you have to refrain. And this is only from the Hadith. The Quran is there and Allah Azza wa Jal always says wa Allah wa Rasul. Always obey Allah and obey the Prophet What does that mean? It means that Allah Azza wa Jal has preserved this deen through the Quran and through the prophetic hadith. So, <coughs> excuse me, if you believe in that, you have to accept that the hadith is preserved from Allah. Number two, whenever there is a conflict, there are a number of processes that scholars follow. And it's important that you refer to scholars because laymen who do not understand Arabic, who do not understand usul al-fiqh, who do not understand the sciences of hadith, mustalah al-hadith, and, and how to differentiate between da'if and sahih, they would shoot from the hip and they would put themselves in doubtful things and it may lead them to reject the Islam altogether because with this concept of yours, you can even go to the Quran and see that the Quran speaks about a day that is equivalent to a thousand days, a thousand years, and a day that is equivalent to a 50,000 years, and a day that is our normal day. So anyone with improper iman and submission to Allah and adequate knowledge would be tested with such information that he could not digest and would lead him to leave Islam, probably. May Allah protect you and all of our viewers. Thirdly, you have to go and search what the ulama said in this. Now, I did not do this research. I know the hadith of the 73, which talks about the whole entire ummah. 72 are in hell and one in, is in paradise. And the hadith is authentic. Now having said that, maybe the hadith that talks about the 72 is talking about the 72 that are in hell. Not mentioning the one that is in paradise because this is known by default. And the other hadith that talks about 73, the prophet says afterwards, all in hell except one. So you cannot think that verses contradict other verses or verses contradict the hadith because the contradiction is only in your mind. As a Muslim, we believe that this is all from Allah Azza wa Jal. So it is either the contradiction does not exist. Allah Azza wa Jal says, حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَيْتَةُ وَالدَّمْ Dead meat and blood and swine meat is haram. Isn't the Quran in number of ayahs? Yet the Prophet said, والسلام, Two dead meat and two blood were made permissible for us. Allah says it's prohibited. The Prophet says it's permissible. This is general and this is specific. Am wa khas. If you did not study usul al-fiqh, you will not understand this. But everything that is dead meat is haram with the exception of the locust and the fish. And if you cannot combine between the two so conflicting um, uh, evidences, you go to level two, which is which one is abrogating the other. So one abrogates the other. Like in the three verses of the Quran talking about intoxicants, that they ask you about intoxicants and gambling. Say there is some benefit and there's a lot of harm and the harm is more than outweighs the benefits.
Okay, stage one. Stage two, do not approach Salat when you are intoxicated until you recognize what you can recite. Okay, stage three, abrogated both two verses. Stay away from it. And this is decisive. So if you don't understand abrogation and the concept of it, you'd say, oh, three verses that are conflicting, contradicting, the Quran is this and that. And this is all in your mind. If you're unable to know which one came first so that you know which one abrogated which, then you have to start to outweigh which one is more authentic. So Quran is always more authentic than the Hadith. If there's any conflict, conflict, then we take the Quran. If the Hadith is in Bukhari and the other one is in Tirmidhi, Bukhari always outweighs, etc. And this is for scholars, not for any Tom, Dick or Harry. Finally, the fourth stage, if all these three cannot be implemented, the fourth stage is I refrain from, uh, 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 I abstain. I just hold on. I don't have any say. I don't know. But definitely there are other scholars who know the answer. So I don't give a verdict of conflicting or contradicting. Rather, I go in search with other scholars until I find the right answer. And I hope this answers your question. We have